Stanford University. There's been a lot of work on bird guano in, uh, for many, many years, and so we certainly know that bird guano can have a really important role in ecosystems. Um, they've been shown to cause whole-scale ecosystem shifts in subarctic when bird guano is lost. Seabirds can move large amount of nutrients to land ecosystems and, and those movements, if you disrupt them, uh, can have a lot of impacts on the ecosystem um, where the seabirds live. Seabirds are really important to terrestrial ecosystems as well as to marine ecosystems. And in this case, a plant is affecting um, those seabird nutrient movements. Coconut palms seem to have negative impacts on seabird abundance, and seabirds decline when coconut palms are present. This causes uh, losses of soil nutrients, including nitrates and phosphates, changes in leaf nutrients, and then changes in the amount of herbivores eating those leaves. We would uh, take one leaf from a tree that came from a forest where there were mainly coconuts around it, and one tree leaf from a tree where there were mainly other trees of the same kind around it. And then we would offer these leaves to a crab. Uh, we'd put the crab in a bucket and offer it two different leaves. You couldn't tell anything was different between these two leaves by looking at them. We had to mark what type of uh, forest they came from, and then 24 hours later we would look back and find out uh, how much of that leaf was eaten. And the crabs um, almost exclusively preferred um, to eat the leaves that came from native forests. So even though I couldn't tell the difference between these leaves, uh, both the crabs and the grasshoppers could clearly tell which one had come from the native forest and preferred to eat the leaves from the native forest. So I'm not surprised that bird guano was important. I was more surprised that the plant would, um, would be able to affect bird guano. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.